Coming back to American soil, some deployed service members are finding higher auto insurance rates and they don't even know it. We tested one major U.S. insurer and found what one industry expert calls a Patriot penalty. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. A commercial touting one of the biggest auto insurance companies' commitment to the military. <clears throat> Geico would like to take a moment to say thank you to our military service members at home and abroad for all their hard work and sacrifice. But when it comes to writing policies for service members returning from deployment... Oh, it makes me so angry that they get away with that ad. In many states, GEICO quotes those members they pledge to support more than their civilian neighbors. It is wrong to penalize soldiers returning from their service. I was a little bit, I guess, lack of a better word, a little bit afraid of what was out there. Mickey Carroll is Louisiana's state commander, the veterans of foreign wars. This needs to be fixed. It's not right. We showed him what we uncovered, proof some military members returning from deployment are quoted higher rates. Everything else was the same. It the increases. insurance was more, $1,797. What logic is that? Does it make you mad? Does it, does it? It infuriates me. It's an injustice. To penalize somebody for serving their country is an injustice. We went on GEICO's website to compare pricing. On the left is our non-military member. On the right, a service member returning from deployment. We entered the same address, same car, same insurance coverage. The only difference, the non-military member on the left was switching insurance companies. The one on the right had a break in insurance. We told GEICO the reason was this Tennessee driver was deployed overseas in the military. You can see there was a big quote difference. In this example in Tennessee, a $274 difference. Here's another example. In North Carolina, for a six-month policy, GEICO quoted the civilian $527. The deployed soldier, $682. A $155 difference. GEICO knows precisely the reason that these soldiers were not insured. They know that the soldiers had a solid duty-bound reason to have dropped their insurance for 18 months, and yet they still penalize them. Experts say deployed soldiers have no reason to keep insurance on a car they aren't driving because they've been called to serve. In most states, the insurance that you're required to buy is only to protect the people that you hit if you cause an accident. Now, if you're serving overseas, if you're 15,000 miles away anyone. from your car, you're not going to hit anybody. And there's no liability to cover. Keep in mind, Geico specifically asked the question, did you have a lapse in coverage because you were deployed? And even when you answer yes in many states, they quote soldiers more. The fact that Geico asks the question, were you deployed, and then penalizes them, shame on Geico but also shame on the insurance commissioners and the lawmakers who let this happen. You call it overcharging. Oh, absolutely. There is no actuarial reason that a deployed soldier, when he or she comes back to the States, should pay more for auto insurance if they were a good driver. We found 22 states where GEICO quoted deployed soldiers more. In Arizona, for every six months, an additional $67. Kentucky and Nebraska, 87. In Louisiana, a $560 difference. They're making a corporate decision to punish where they can and not where they can't. And that's the proof in the pudding is the fact that they do it differently in different states. In Florida, Geico actually quotes deployed service members less. Repulsive, annoying, it is un-American. That's because of this former Florida state senator. Nearly 15 years ago, the legislature there passed his bill. Candidly, I am surprised that other states have not passed this legislation. The bill protects active military service members from rate increases. It is just adding insult to injury to say, and when you come back, 
we're now going to charge you more for your auto insurance. We sent multiple emails to GEICO detailing the findings in this story. They refused to respond. It's news to me that some companies are. Uh, I rather suspect that it's uh, something that's been overlooked. Dave Snyder is vice president of an insurance trade association. He says deployed soldiers must be proactive. Go back to the company, go back to the agent, say, this is really weird. I was deployed defending my country and I get a higher rate. This is a problem. Do something about it. But there's a problem with that advice. Most soldiers will never know it's happening because it's not easy to figure out. Geico's online quote tool made it easy for us to check that company's rates. But most companies don't allow you to compare rates like this. And Geico is the only one that specifically asks if you had a break in coverage because you were deployed. Nobody has any idea about it. There's no way for the soldier to know, really. No, I mean, unless, the, unless every soldier who went uh, shopping for insurance went and retested their rates and lied about whether or not they were uh, deployed. Doug Heller is a national expert on auto insurance. He says it's not just Geico. Other companies are doing the same thing, penalizing deployed soldiers. They don't need to impose these penalties on soldiers. They do it because they can get away with it. And for them, those extra dollars are worth more than whatever patriotism these soldiers have uh, shown. The Texas Department of Insurance warns deployed service members to pay premiums on time while they're deployed because companies will charge higher rates if you have a lapse in coverage. Why is the break in coverage? Because you're ordered to leave the country. You can't say, I can't go, my insurance is going to go up. You're ordered to leave the country, therefore you're obligated to do so. It all makes no sense to this Vietnam veteran. You write a check when you go into the service of Uncle Sam and he can cash it and where you go and what you do is up to him. It's up to insurance companies to determine rates upon a soldier's return. Geico, proudly supporting the military for over 75 years. And veterans like Carol want to see companies make a commitment to deployed service members while they keep their commitment to this country. I can't tell you how upset it makes me to penalize these young men and women who are going off to serve our country and take the risks that they do and then come back and be uh, penalized, additional fees added on simply because they had to leave the country. They were ordered to leave the country by the commander in chief. There should be no reason for any increase in, in their uh, insurance premiums because of this. Different companies display their quotes differently, so you may want to pay close attention to that. For example, some quote by the month, others by pay period, so that quote could be actually for every two weeks.